What's going on guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of and today we're going to be talking about a game that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a very long time by the name of No Man's Sky and it finally got a release date, it's got some pricing information and I kind of wanted to just talk about the game for a minute and kind of voice my opinion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So it is official that No Man's Sky is going to be released on the PlayStation 4 and the PC on June the 21st of this year, which uh, is kind of surprising to me because I thought that it was going to be released later this fall because of the PlayStation VR. Now last week GameStop accidentally kind of leaked that the PlayStation VR is kind of planned to come out in the fall time period, probably around uh, early September, maybe even late September, early October to get in on that uh, holiday buying spree that everyone normally goes on whenever they're shopping for Christmas presents and whatnot. So considering that No Man's Sky had been delayed late last year, I kind of assumed that the developers had gone back and reworked some of the gameplay, reworked work some of the controls so that the game worked perfectly with PlayStation VR and that big name recognition of No Man's Sky that a lot of people have been looking forward to would propel the sales of the PlayStation VR. However, it appears that is not the case and there are now four different versions of the game that you can purchase on June the 21st, so I was completely blown out of the water on that one. Uh, now, as far as these different versions of the game go, they all contain the same kind of game, but there are, of course, special little perks and whatnot that you get if you do pay a little bit more. So let's go ahead and break this down. Uh, you can buy it digitally through the PlayStation Network. I'm just going to be talking about the PlayStation version of the game for simplicity's sake. So if you wanted the digital version of the game, you could go online and buy it through PSN for $59.99. Now, if you wanted the standard version of the game, which is a physical release, you could just go to your local GameStop, Target, Walmart, wherever you might purchase your games and pick up a physical version of that game for $59.99. So that is your base purchase price. That is where the game starts at. It is $59.99, which is kind of shocking for a lot of people and we'll get into why I think that it's that high in just a minute or two. Uh, now if you did want to go up in a tier you could actually get the limited edition of the game which is $80 and that comes with your standard steel art book, you know your art itself, uh, a couple of uh, different things like a dynamic theme and whatnot but ultimately uh, this one is just 20 bucks for a little bit more memorabilia than you would be getting with the standard edition of the game. Now there is an explorer's edition of the game if you are a huge fan of No Man's Sky and really want to support Hello Games that includes a 135th scale replica of a spaceship from No Man's Sky along with everything else that you would get in the $80 version of the game. And like I said, that is going to run you $150 for that Explorer's Edition. So you pretty much have these uh, $60, $80, and $150 tiers whenever it comes to how you want to purchase the game. But ultimately, they all include the exact same experience. And after watching some interviews, I have to say that experience still sounds pretty cool, even after hearing about it consecutively for about three years now. So how exactly does No Man's Sky work and what exactly is the game about? That is probably the hardest question I have ever had to answer on a uh, topic in On the Topic Of. And to be honest, I'm not really sure that I can do so to the fullest of my ability because the developers haven't really given that much information about how the game actually works. On the technical side of things, it's pretty much a procedurally slash randomly generated game that allows the player to wander through this universe and discover new planets as they explore. The entire object of the game is to explore and just experience the game and see what you can find and just play the game that Hello Games has spent so many years creating. That's kind of the idea behind the game. Now, as far as this exploration goes, whenever you do find a new planet, you might find dinosaurs that no one else has found before. You might find different species of plants and other kinds of life that no one else has found before, and you can claim those and you can create a name for those, and then that name will be saved to that specific planet. Now, if someone else happens upon that algorithm within the game that gives them that exact same planet, that includes what you discovered. So if someone else happens upon this planet and happens to land in the exact same place you did and happens to run across that exact same species of dinosaur that you happen to find that first time you found it, then they will know that you were there and they will see the mark that you left on that world. So the kind of vibe that I'm getting from No Man's Sky is that you are literally just there to explore, to find things, to label things, to shoot your gun at these random dinosaurs and whatnot, but pretty much just to experience the world that Hello Games has created. And it's kind of like uh, that game Journey that came on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 where you would just wander around the desert and experience the world. It is that experience taken to the next level and amplified times 10 that gives us that No Man's Sky experience that we're all kind of questioning what exactly it is. 
To be honest with you, I'm still not entirely sure if No Man's Sky is going to pan out to be successful because it is so innovative. We're not really used to this kind of thing. Journey was a gamble and people really enjoyed that kind of exploration that Journey did offer. Of course, if you aren't familiar with that game, it came out on the PlayStation 3 and it's pretty much where you are a hooded figure that wanders through the desert just finding things and you might happen to run across someone else that is playing in the exact same world that you are and you can kind of pair up and find uh, things in this desert together. That was the idea behind Journey, and so No Man's Sky has kind of taken that to the next level. Now, if this does work out, this could easily be one of those experience-based games that takes this generation by storm, and to be honest, after all these years of excitement, that's where I'm hoping the game does end up, but in the same light, this could be such an innovative experience and such a new idea that people honestly just aren't ready for it, and that might be how No Man's Sky ends up. It might be a complete failure just because there are so many new ideas within the game and so many new possibilities for people to discover, they might not really know what they're supposed to do. What it comes down to is that on June the 21st, No Man's Sky is going to either be an immense success that completely blows everyone out of the water and is marked for generations as one of the most innovative and uh, inspirational games of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One generation, or it could be something that is forever described as ahead of its time and just not ready to see the public eye yet, and either one of those is pretty much equally possible in my mind. So there you guys have it, hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did drop me a like down below and comment what you think about No Man's Sky. Have you seen the gameplay that has been released to date, what do you think about that? Uh, do you have a Playstation 4 or a PC to play it on and which one are you going to be playing it on? And of course if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other content, I do upload new stuff like 3 or 4 days a week depending on the week so there's always something new right here on the channel when you drop by to watch some videos and I do stream live on twitch.tv slash prettychillguy311 every single Saturday night so go give me a follow over on that platform. But Without further ado, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.